Hello, I'm back. Feeling better today. Just needed some sleep yesterday because the night before I didn't get, I had about two hours sleep, if that. So yesterday it was like, no, I can't do this. Even my cats must have known something was up because I wasn't screaming at them to behave. <laughs> They just came and lay, laid on the sofa with me. So, they knew something was up. Anyway, hope you've all had a nice day yesterday. And you're having a nice day today. I was supposed to talk about this one last night. But, as I said, I wasn't feeling too good. I needed some rest. I needed to sleep. Which I did. So, I'm feeling much better. Not great, but better. Anyway, as you all know, the other day, right, the docky released body cam footage from the day Je uh, Madeline Soto went missing and on, onwards. So, this is what we've all been waiting for we've all been waiting for this video and one youtuber said it's like two thousand dollars right but i don't know how true that is and a lot of it is redacted so you go like there's one i watched one clip yesterday and it was of when they went to the house then walk up to the house, knock the door, the door opens, bump. You don't see nothing else. You hear voices. You hear them talking. But you don't see nothing. You just see a black screen because it's all uh, redacted. Because apparently there must be a law saying they can't show the inside of a house um, when it goes out. Like, obviously, the law enforcement have seen it and... The um, prosecutors and defence, but anyone outside of that area, I'm not going to see any of that, which is a bit strange. You know what I mean? I'd have no problem coming in here, them coming in here and seeing my house. No problem. As long as they left it clean and tidy. <laughs> anyway, so. As we all know, Madeline Soto went missing on the 26th of February. And her body was found on the 1st of March. Um, I did have something, find something the other day, but you know, I can't find it now. I'll see if I've got on, um, if I can get it on YouTube. There might be some on YouTube about it. Let's have a look. Um, Let's see what we can find. Right. Uh, I don't know if this is it. I'll, go, I'll just put it on. Um. It just says they cannot release. But I did read where there was head trauma. 
so I don't know how true that is because nothing's been released. So, let's come back to here. This is the young girl we're looking at, right, whose life was tragically taken by a vile creature that shouldn't even be breathing the air that we breathe. I have to think, how, there's got to be more, that's all I'm saying, there's got to be more children involved in this, there's got to be. This is not his first time. This is not his first rodeo. As some people might say, he's done this before. I wouldn't say he's on a live dumb, but I say I will say he has S A D and R I P E D children. I believe he's done videos of them. I believe he's sold videos. And that's how he's making money, through the videos, through the pictures, you know what I mean? Because there's people out there, sick, 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 vile people out there that will buy this, buy that stuff, you know what I mean? And I think it's perfectly right, there's nothing wrong in it. So, I don't know what happened when I was born. Was I born with every screw loose? There must have been, because there's anyone who thinks on that line, that way of thinking, that's all right, is sick. Right? Uh, sick, sick, sick. Anyway, I'm going to take this off, put this up. And um I don't know if I can get my dinner set on yeah. Anyway, so this is from the docket. He's very good, he gets a lot of information. If you if you want information, this is the guy to go to. He he finds it all, he gets it all. Right, and he pays for it, so shout out to the docket. Um, the link is in the description, I believe. Hold on, I'll just go and check. Oh, no, I haven't put it in there. Hold on. I'll just do it now. Acknowledge. Um, I'll just put his link now in the. I thought I put it in. Obviously, I hadn't. But I have not. Okay. Sorry, I clicked the wrong click link uh, button and I went out of stream now. So I'll get this back up for you so that we can all watch this. Share screen. So, like I said, shout out to the jockey because he's the one who's got all the information. And I believe this is the guy everyone has been 
getting the information off, being getting the videos off this guy because the one I was watching saw a short clip of. I think she's some. I can't think of her name. She was using his information. So shout out to him. Uh, we'll just skip this. Uh. Footage from the night that Madeline was reported missing and one of the i haven't watched all of them yet but what struck me first was it was damn near midnight before cops ever got to got there Apparently, from what I heard earlier on in the case, uh, they had been phoning them, law enforcement to phone them, and they had no deputies or whatever to send out. So, so I don't know what if there'd been a major incident or something, but they couldn't get out to them. Actually, I suck at military time. Whatever time 0034 is. <laughs> is that is that 1234 a.m.? It's at night. And I can't remember what time the 911 calls were made. First thing I wanted to point out and there's one clip that's 45 minutes long that is completely redacted audio. You catch a small I mean, you get enough audio to where you hear the dog bark and you hear why they're there. But there's two or three clips of the dogs searching. Um, It looks like they've set up camp at an insurance, do your tax place. Um, and yeah, El Creepo is just creeping. He's he just creeping. So I know you're not here to listen to me. So this is from 227 24 at 0034. They said uh, it looked like five or six. Five or six kids at the park. All right, yeah. Give me a second, bro. Hey, Go ahead. Let me finish up with this and I'll give you a Are you able to pick up call 931, please? Before we go any further, I just want to put this up. Hold on. The disclaimer. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allows it made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing non-profit educational per per personal use. Tips of balance in... Oh, I can't see it all. 
ขาใช้ตาออฟใช้ตานี้ Tips the balance in favor of fair use. This vision was made for entertainment purposes and is transformative in nature. So, I just wanted to put that up there. I've got it up in my corner as well. So, I could put a picture over the screen and you just listen to, the, listen to it, but you don't get the full effect if you do that. I'm on currently this. working on uh, possible signal late. Can you can I hold off on that? Of course, uh, do they speak English? I believe this is a mother's office. Okay, hi there. Hey there. Hey there. What's going on? So, my daughter was dropped off close to school this morning, but never made right. it. I went to the school. I'm sorry, one second. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> are we looking for another kid, or we have a kid? Looking for another one. I'm trying to get there right now. Okay. So she was supposed to be dropped off at school, didn't make it to school. Didn't make it to school. I went to pick her up from school today okay. and she never came out. They, they announced it over the speaker and I'm just like, maybe she walked here because sometimes she'll walk here to this office. Mm -hmm. I came here, nothing. I went back to close. I got a notice, an email from the school saying she was absent, but I also messaged her teacher and he looked at her entire attendance today and saw that she was completely not at school today either. Okay. Um, so she never made it. Okay. What's her name? Madeline. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. I -N -E. Last name? Soto. S-O-T-O. S-O-T-O? Yeah. Date of birth? February 22nd, 2011. February 27th, 2000. Oh, sorry. Second. 2011. 2011. Okay. No, so he, he has to be there. He has to be there. He has to know exactly what is being said, who is saying what, everything. File. 13. What's the name of the signal aid? Madeline Soto, age 13. I'm trying to get a clothing description now. What was she last seen wearing? Green hoodie. Um, Green hoodie. White Crocs. White Crocs. Either blue or black pants. I think black shorts. Black shorts? Yeah. Black shorts? Okay. Black shorts. All right. Do you know she has like friends in the area? She does, but she doesn't know where they live. She doesn't know where she lives. Okay. I asked all of them. Um, okay. Is this like, does she like have any places that you guys know that she'll be usually be at? Right. Now, how will Jane Soto know what she's wearing unless she's seeing her that morning? Right. And she said she's seeing her at eight o'clock getting ready for school. Now, we know that's a lie because at 7 30, this piece of SHIT was seen putting something in the bin and when they looked it was her laptop and her phone and that was at 7 30. At 10 past 8 right they were seen coming southbound down this one road which means they was heading back towards the house and there was this piece of SHIT and Madeline. They caught him, I think it was going out or coming in. They caught him going out of the complex or coming in the complex. And they said Madeline was in the car then. And she was slumped to the left-hand side, like her head was towards the driver's side of the car. So, sweetheart, how do you know what she's wearing? 
because you didn't see her at 8 o'clock. There's no way you saw her. Not alive, anyway. At any friend's house, any places that like you guys can hang out? Not typically, no. Not typically? No. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Let me see if there's any. Thank you. No problem. And what school she goes to? Hunters Creek Middle School. Hunters Creek Middle? All right, cool. One, two, five. Do you guys have, do you have a picture of her? Can you drop it to me? I can't believe how long it takes her to pull up a picture of her daughter. You know, if someone said to me, if you got a picture, bum bum there. Straight away. But she's like scrolling through and doing something. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to see what picture, I don't know what she said. Well, she recently called from the birthday party, right? Yeah, but I wasn't there, so I have to look at What's up? You must have a picture of your daughter, sweetheart, on the phone, apart from just her birthday. Go ahead. That's what I'm about to grab right now. Yeah. All right, cool thing. Is this a good enough picture or do you need a whole yeah, body picture? Okay. okay. Let me. This is the 27th, not the 26th. So, sorry about that. She went missing on the 26th. That would explain everything. <laughs> My apologies. Okay, where's the photo right there? That's on my phone. Let me see. I saved it to my photo, so we could have You saved it to your photo? Yeah, we could have just the picture. Look who's standing there looking, watching. Don't worry, mate. Let's let know dirty little pics on her flow. I'm gonna send it out right now to my other guys. Thank you very much. So that's the end of that clip. And my brain is completely froze. She was reported missing on the 26th at 4.43 p.m. And we have body cam footage that we're, you can see there. That is obviously at night. Twelve thirty-four at nine. 
So, uh, is the body cam time is off? Preparing yourself. I'm just preparing you for future, yeah. She's got a device. And I will tell you that the clips with her and him in them are short. So don't expect, you know, huge, long. Clips of them. I never showed up. So they they called since I don't even know when, but they whenever they what did you say? What did she call? My question is not why is it not a cool three when it first came out. Yeah, so I, that last time she was seen it was early this morning, like seven o'clock. That's what I'm about to see. I'm about to go check. I just try to get as much information now of her clothing descriptions than the Diaz who Diaz has a hit in like a, a big area full of hits. So if you want to help me out with this one, yeah. send me my signal is expert. <laughs> Looks like it's just a wrinkle. Well, no, it's a different time. It's a few minutes later, so. Okay, how about does she have like Apple Watch? Yeah, she's got a device. The only device she's got on her right now is her school laptop. Her school laptop is that trackable? I don't think so. It'll try to connect all the way. So that it's sort of weird. You're going to send a new submission to school. Possibly. I don't know. She got dropped off. She was like, I. Um, so she's going to battle this fight. So she didn't want to be dropped off at school. She wanted to be dropped off like half a block away so she can walk. She didn't understand. She was going to take it. But um, he dropped her off half a block away and drove away. Did she ever go to school though? No, she, we called school. She was walking in that direction. She was rifling through her backpack, just looking for something. I thought maybe she was just looking for headphones before she found her walking on. Yeah. Um, but she was just kind of, you know, shambling over in that direction. It looked the same as any other morning. Okay. Um, what was last thing asked? If she ever went to school, maybe. Um, so, yeah. so. I got confirmation from the school that she never made it. They sent me an email saying she didn't, she didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But I also spoke to her or emailed one of her teachers directly. And he no. looked at all of her attendance for all her periods and told me she would not make it at all today. Okay. Um, Say it again. No, she was she was she was supposed to have a book bag. She was supposed to go to school, but didn't go to school today. What I don't understand is why are they at the uh, Jane Soto's mother's works, where her mother's office is, and not at home when the police came? I don't get that. Three one nine federal back third party and for Saturday complaint. Children by two juvenile males. Request to have only into code two nineteen point five. I'm trying to figure out uh secondary spots, but so far negative on anything. Um yeah, you could be fifty one of me. All right, cool. Thank you.
Here to copy a local from OPD. He has that negative on that hit. I know a part. So. I think black shorts. 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 Black does she have any markings on her, like any scars? She has like a uh, distinctive beauty mark on her face. Here. On her face. On the face, like below the nose or near the nose? Yeah, yeah, like right in that area there. It's, it's very distinctive. You'd know it if you saw it. Big. Any other scars or anything like that? Scars? No. no. Tattoos. Tattoos. Yeah. Tattoos. Yeah. No. No. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Did you put the description? I put the top part out and get the rest of the stuff. Wait, what did I miss? What the hell was so funny? What was so funny? Yeah, what was so funny? Any other scars or anything like that? Scars? No. No. Tattoos? Tattoos? You'd be surprised. I'll put the top part out and get the rest of the stuff. Yeah. That walking thing must be something she does when she's nervous or anxious. That walking thing is a uh, South Susa. Yes. Hi, Principal. I'm okay. How are you? Uh, no, problem. I'm talking to you right now. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find her paperwork. Does she have any social media or anything like that? Yes. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Right here. That's her profile? Yeah. Yeah. Any Snapchat or uh, no, that's that's not a place. Place. Yeah. 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 So that's it for that clip. Somebody said somebody said it was 1943. Did somebody say that in chat? Because I don't see 19 anywhere. All I see is T double O. And then 41 and the 58 seconds ticking. It I am completely baffled by, you know, I I'm reading the report. She was reported missing at 420 something that afternoon. And they're just now literally getting a photo of her. And you heard the cop say that he's got to get it out to his other people. Or maybe you haven't yet, but it, it's coming if you haven't. It shows on the police phone. Okay, Sam. Okay, Sam, put it in there. Good work. Good work. Because I did not see that. I've only got the picture up because it's just showing the police car again, the interaction between the police, and there's no sound. Is that it? I, I still can't see it. Sam. I don't think it was that late on the night because on his phone you see a clip. He's trying to make sure I don't walking into the office. It shows his phone, the police officer's phone. Everybody up with 
Sunday evening, but are you talking about that? Now play. Okay. So if you want to help me out with this one, yeah. my signal is excellent. <laughs> I think it's coming up to the clip thing where you see it on your phone. Yeah, you see? That would definitely make more sense, then. <laughs> 1942, somewhere? Still a hell of a long time. Okay, how about... Rewind when he first gets ever showed up. So they they called. Oh well, bam, bam. Oh god. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, pretty obvious. You can't miss that. Can't. Like I said, I haven't watched them all. I just skimmed them. So it wasn't thank light you. light on your great lighting up. Thank you guys. Quarter to eight. So I now we're looking. For... Excuse me, miss, report missing at four fifteen. Something after. So you shouldn't be pulling. Like, you know, yeah. Next, we will be classing her as a, a woman away at first. Dog. And that's why the king goes straight away. Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for stopping in on the docket to check us out. Please subscribe, like. If you're watching on replay, we're watching the video cam, body cam of law enforcement on the day Madeline Soto was reported missing. Keep going around. Yeah. Oh, no, they're off. They're off. The dogs are off. Has it got a sink yet? I'm not sure how much you want to sit and watch this. It is one of the longer clips, but what you see is basically what you get. Mom, love, because she's got that control of your dog, and now you're having to struggle to hold him. Come on, Mom. I'm not sure when I learned my lesson to quit taking stuff for face value. I just assumed that, you know, all body cam footage time is always correct, and knowing full well that rarely is it, it's always wrong. <laughs> If you go oh. back this way, this is like back towards, like if you would go towards uh, grandma's business. Yeah. So. so the dog's lost to sense, he can't get, oh, he does a poop. He's doing a poop. Yeah, I mean, oh. that's what's so confusing. It's because she was yeah. reported on the 26th. At 4.43. And then they show up three hours later. So, did she not pick up that poop? I make it. Did you poop? Rounded up seven fifty ish somewhere in that area. 
Come on, we get we can get fined. Can get exactly, fined. exactly, according to his phone. Especially if the police see you and they don't pick it up. Yeah, I guess the date is wrong. It's the date is wrong according to the body camera footage. According to the the body cam time. Yeah, if you look on the top, it's got the date. No. I think, I think twenty twenty-four second twenty-seven. Because now it's saying seven oh six a.m. So yeah, I mean, yeah. just disregard the body cam and put the. Animal. No doubt that they were searching well into the night and probably into the twenty seventh, but it's seven o'clock in the morning there. It would be daylight. It's Florida for crying out loud. Seeing so, you know, those dogs, apparently, if it's a blue tank, um, blue tank or whatever, yeah, I don't know how much of this you right, pick up a scent. <laughs> you know, they're not going to find miles. anything. I thought you usually know what the crittering is. I'm not trying to take your all's whole day up. I know that there's people watching Officer O'Keefe's trial and wanting to get back to that. You know, I actually have. Be picking up any animals, then, really. Um, if she hasn't got her so sense, she's going to be picking up anything. She should be. Oh, yeah. so that's where she worked at. Okay. I guess there are some nuggets in there. No, that's what I'm saying, though. You can't go by the time. You want to go back to where she first got dropped off at? It would, like be, like right it would be daylight at like seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Hi, Justine. He's picking up everybody else's scent. Yeah, he's got to try to like filter through everybody else's like, everybody else's like scent. So all the stuff that are falling on top of them. It's a little bit harder. So he shouldn't be pulling. Oh, but you know, pulling. Just go up a bit because. Female wearing a white dress and hat with a brown purse. Say it again. No. No. Now that's Stefan in the background. That's that's Stefan. Just in case you missed it, Rachel Stark. As soon as I went to highlight your comment again, it moved. Um, that's in the last live that we did. Well, it's everywhere on YouTube yeah. now. But yeah, yeah. They she said she didn't believe that there was anything going on she just couldn't believe that and they showed her a picture one of the pictures found on his i believe it was on the google cloud of his junk and i don't even like talking about this shit, so i do apologize but there is a distinctive mark on it and that distinctive mark on it is i guess clearly visible in the photo of of it and her and she says she doesn't recognize it meaning his junk that's all and i'm going to leave it there I, I, i'm just way too i don't like talking about that shit. no Lucky enough 
Go ahead. No, no camera test right now. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we find something. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of that one. And I want to say welcome to the fam. Red Wolf, Piper Daisy, Michelle Eaton, Cynthia Sweezy, and Marlena Cantu. I've been searching your names in, on StreamYard, and I can't find it, but you're right there on my phone. I'm trying to find your name to hide it. Let's just jump a little bit. I'll contact us ahead. You know, um, that's, if we... Hold on, we'll go back in. I don't think her on the property. Um... Okay, so that's the end of that one, and I want to say welcome to the fam. Red Wolf, Piper. That wasn't very long. I don't think her. Hmm. I hope I see you guys, but on better circumstances. <laughs> So now this is, this is her cousin, I think. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the church? I am. I think it's possible that she came here and sat in the um, parking lot for a while. Um, it's blurry video, um, but it looks like a house of child sitting right there, and she's sitting. The people here said that they were adamant they seen her on the property. Um, but like I said, it's a blurry video, and I don't see her getting into anybody's car in the video. I see her. Sitting on property for give or take ten minutes, and then walking off property. Um, I don't know which way she went. Sorry, my internet's playing up. But hold on. there was rumor, rumor that perhaps it could have been the mother dressed in her clothes, who was seen walking away. But you look at the mother, and you look at uh, Madeline, you can tell by, from, even from behind, if it's a picture from behind, a video of her walking away from behind, you can tell that is not... If you've seen Jane walking along in shorts, right? You will tell that is not a young girl. So I just missed that. Yeah, around like I'll say. 
it's really blurry, so you guys know properly. And you can ask them to see if they can allow you to see the video. I can't really grab that for you. Uh, and just have them see if they have them. So what do you all think about that? So uh, according to this cop, they actually have footage of her sitting, or a kid sitting there. But the picture is so bad. They're just not confident on who it is. It wasn't, it wasn't Magdalene. Like I said, it's a blurry video, and I don't see her getting into anybody's car in the video. I see her sitting on property for, give or take, 10 minutes, and then walking off property. Um, I don't know which way she went from there. Around, like, I'll say... Anyway, I it's really blurry. It's like, there's no pop away. I can, you can ask them to see if they can allow you to see the video. I can't really grab that for you. Um, and just but, have them see... The yeah, Jen's sister, I'm sorry. It <laughs> could have been any young them, girl. But, yeah, I had her sitting there, and then she walked right off property. Um, I'm going to send that to my family. Me. So so going off to school. Because it did say yeah. parents just to drop the kids uh, off there. So, so some parents yeah, I told your cousins off. earlier that over there in Australia has uh, cameras. So. Yeah, I said cousin and I meant sister. And it's because I, I did watch about three quarters of this video and I still had cousins stuck in my head. So, it's yeah, it's her sister. Yeah, look, yeah, Urbana. So um, I would, we're going to try to contact them and see if we get those videos as well. Um, but other than that, yeah, I've been actually talking to see if they knew any spots. Do you know any spots that she probably hang out at? That she doesn't want to tell her mom or dad? Yeah, she, yeah. I must admit, people, I've heard a lot of people talking about how he how apparently he dropped her off at the church and she walked from the church up to the school and that's a long way. I walk further than that to school. I used to walk over three miles to school because we used to meet up with friends on the way. And by the time we met up with the last friend, we was literally, what, 15, 20 minutes away from school. And we could wait that long for a flipping bus. So we just used to carry on walking. We got there every day, uh, on time, in fact, before the bells went. So, it isn't a long walk. It's You get out the car, walk out that car park, Right, you walk of like right, a hundred meters, hundred yards, whatever, up up to the bridge. You go under the dual carriageway bridge, and the school is right after that bridge. So it's not that far a walk. So I don't know why people are making or were making such a fuss about. Oh my gosh, I had to walk all that. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that far. I can take you on Google Maps and show you it isn't that far to walk, but I'm not. Not today, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy stuff, but yeah, I, me neither, yeah. Just uh, walk up and leave. Yeah. Yeah, I know, like, around this time, it's usually, like, you know, they have, like, school events or something like that so that's what i was probably saying she probably told you guys something and i don't know we, uh, yeah all righty well i'm gonna try to see if i could see if there's any more cameras in the area see if i can pick up anything else uh, yeah once once we get any news or anything like that the tech is more like contact her or i'll contact her say hey you know um that's if we find her um tonight i will contact her more likely if not a detective will contact her first thing okay um, any questions for me? Anything you need to know? Uh, no. No? Alright. No problem. Alright? You too. Okay, so <clears throat> I need to remove a couple of these files. You can only put so many of them up. Right, let's jump a bit. Now we've got redacted stuff coming in. Uh -huh. Let's 
is that over this fire oh, that's just redacting the screen with the video is on what they're watching I don't know who Fauci is. How much time is it right now there? 8.55 already? Uh, yeah, I just bought. No. Uh, yeah, I just bought 8.55. Yeah, yeah, like usually the baby leaves here at around 9. She walks 9 or 5, 9, 10. They have to be there before 9.30. That's when the first, no, the first bell rings, yeah. Oh, it's 8 one actually. I'm going to open it up like 10 minutes to see, it, see if she's in there. Yeah. Uh, We've already requested a Marlena. We're just waiting on them, but thank you. She's still there. Oh, wait, there's a wait, person. Wait, wait, person getting out of the car. I can't tell who that is. Is that grandma talking? I can't tell who that is. And I don't know why they would redact them, yet not redact all them other people that was inside that insurance slash tax office. I'm going to say, yeah, they're getting redacting it. That's the insurance, so They're redacting it because they're yeah, looking because at Yeah, because they screen. redacted it, <laughs> Crystal. They're redacting they redacted it. They whoever that is talking. Yeah. Uh, from... Okay. Thank you. We're getting in that car. What, whatever it is they're looking at, the footage that they're looking at, they're talking about Maddie getting in a car. It has to be the security footage, right? Oh, seriously? Mm -hmm. We already have his. Um, we don't have the audio calls. We already we have his call uh, summary report. We've gotten a couple of those that we've done, but no. Um, he's talked to his dad. We're gonna find more out once it goes to trial. Once it goes to trial and the defense team put stuff out there. Got a visit from his dad and a bunch of he's made All right, let's just go a bit further up. She's on for a while. I wonder if she's waiting for somebody. Really did my headphones on, but my headphones won't yeah. connect to my laptop at the moment. I can't either, GP. They redacted it. There's nothing I can do about that. We can't see it either. All we can do is hear it. Thank you so much, Doc, for becoming a member of the Welcome to the Facketeer family. Teach me how to remove redaction GP and I'll make it happen. She just walked away. Oh, she's, right she's walking. Yeah. And she walked away so I should just go. Yeah, she's got property by 2059. So nobody picked her up. No, nobody picked her up. Right. Cool. No, I've got to pick two up. Right, right. It's somebody else they're talking about. And a different, it's even a different vehicle. It's a different vehicle. Yeah. So this next clip is about two seconds long until they completely. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Redact. I think this is the clip. This is where they go yeah. to the house. Yeah, you only get about 30 seconds of this clip until they shut it completely down. And who knows what time it is, but it says. It's 5 46 in the morning, but they're headed to Jen's townhouse. I don't know what time it is. Uh, but the body. Now, my question is right, when you see her where the house is positioned, 
to where the cars are parked, right? How did he get the body from the townhouse, from the house, to the car with no one seeing? Big camera's on. Hey, how is going to find no see? And here it is. This is all you're going to see for a 45 minute clip. This is all you get. I uh, just want to verify the clothing. Oh, okay. Bam. <laughs> that's it. And that's the longest clip. It's 45 minutes long. Yep. Paid a lot of money. They paid a lot of money for that. Hold on, I had the screen saved on, didn't I? I'll go back. Let me go back. I'm sorry about that. But as I said, you're not Mr. Law. Uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let me see if she goes back on the property. And nobody left from the passenger side. I don't know if right. she, if, if nobody. Yeah. on four twelve, commercial audible. Charlie is still safe. Five nine zero eight southbound Foster Trail. Five nine zero eight southbound Foster Trail. Negative responders indicating back door. So it says the car pulled up, but nobody got out the passenger side. Is that already just fire? Fire. 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 I don't know who Fauci is. How much time is it right now there? 8.55 already? Yeah, I just bought. No, uh, I think it's about. Yeah, I just bought 8.55. Yeah, like usually the evening is here at around 9. She was almost 9 over 5, 9, 10. You have to be there before 9.30. That's when the first bell rings. Yeah. Yeah, that's when the first bell rings. 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 Yeah, that's when the we're just waiting on them. All right, let's go back. The security footage, right? It is security footage they're looking at, but as I said, it isn't, they do see a car, but it's not their car, the car they're looking at before. Next clip is about two seconds long. Until they completely read How did you get that buggy out of that house without yeah. no one seeing? Yeah, you only get about 30 seconds of this clip until they shut it completely down. And who knows what time it is, but it says it's 5.46. Now, I don't know if anyone's seen that picture where he's filming Maddie walking down the pathway. And you see the reflection in his glasses. This makes me feel sick because it was the longest pathway. Not saying it was here, could bring a bit further up, but I was walking down this pathway. Morning. They're morning. headed to Jen's townhouse. I don't know what time it is. The, the body camera's wrong. And here it is. This is all you're going to see for a 45 minute clip. This is all you get. This is all we get. Uh, I just want to verify the clothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> that's it. And that's the longest clip. It's 45 minutes long. And that's. And people have paid a lot of money for this. You know what I mean? A lot of money. So, 
It's not fair. Why can they film inside a, a public office, right? An office where people go on a daily basis, yeah? Now, I've seen body footage before of law enforcement going into people's homes. And it's not been redacted. Certain things have been redacted, like if, the, if there's a, gu, a GU, GUN or GRUGS, they redact that out, right? But they don't redact the whole thing. So, all I can think of is the family have asked for that to be redacted. Because it doesn't make sense to redact it all. All we get, and you heard him say, why is there? I uh, just want to verify the clothing. Oh. <laughs> just want to verify the clothing. Just want to verify the clothing. And the rest of that 45 minute clip is black. No audio, no video. No audio, no video. Accurate. That's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. If it even is a video, I don't know. Or an interview, I mean. What they is asking people to pay. That is just ridiculous. But for those who are arriving late, they said, uh, it looked like. How sad is that? This is back at the office again. It's my and mother. Okay. So she was supposed to be dropped off at school. They make it school. They make it school. I went to pick her up from school today, okay. and she never came out. They, they announced it over the speaker, and I'm just like, maybe she walked here because sometimes she'll walk here to this office. Mm -hmm. Came here, nothing. I went back to school. They were closed. I got a notice, an email from the school saying she was absent. But... And I'm sorry. He looks a right T W A T wearing his hat like that. Sorry. He's a grown man. He's not a teenager. He's not a young man. He's a grown ass man. But I also messaged the teacher and he looked at her entire time today and saw that she was not in school today either. Okay. Um, so she never made it. Okay. What's her name? Madeline. <coughs> M-A-D-E-L-I-N. -E -L Black name? So That's O-T-O. Date of birth? February 22nd, 2011. February 27th, 2000? 22nd. Oh, sorry. 22nd, 2011. 13. Oh yeah, just had your thirteenth birthday. Now there's a big if about this. Was he at the bar party or was he not? Some people say he was at the birthday party. Some people say he wasn't. So I don't know. But how did she get home? If he wasn't at the party, how did she get home? Did the mum pick her up? Did the grand drop her off? You know what I mean? I don't understand. There's bits missing, right? And those are the little bits. It's the little details that I need. Little details mean a lot, right? So, I want to know if he was at the party. So, I'm going to put this down. Was S-H-I-T at... Party, 13. Party. Okay. I want to find that out. Who brought her home? So, all I can think of, as well, uh, about how he got her out of that house. He must have got her out of that house while it was still dark. Before people had even started getting up for work. You know what I mean? So, let's think. What time does it get? What time did it get light? Light. I'm going to look that up as well. Because it had to be before it got light. 
Because when you get up, you open your curtains, don't you? Right? I know I did. Even when it was pitch black out there, my curtains were opened up. And so people, once they start getting up, and if they, most people normally get up around about six-ish. Yeah? I used to get up at, my kids would go to school from nine. I'd get up at seven, 7.30, between 7 and 7.30, get them their breakfast, they get washed, they'd have their breakfast, get their uniforms on or clothes on, like before they went to senior school, and then I'd walk them up the road about 20 to 9, quarter to 9, and we'd get there for 9 o'clock. So, but in the US, like, she didn't have to be at school for up till 9.30. So why leave that early? Why can't she have breakfast at home? You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but there's no way I'd be dragging myself out, or my child out, at 7.30 in the morning just to go to McDonald's for breakfast. Not, not happening. Not happening. I'd rather be at home, give them a proper nourishing breakfast that is going to take them from because most children don't even eat the dinners at school because they, was, they are crap. Our school meals in the UK are crap. So a lot of them don't eat properly at dinner time. So they need something to keep them going from the morning until they get home. So I'd rather give them a, a, a healthy, nourishing breakfast at home than take it to McDonald's, which is just junk food to me. Just junk food. It fills you up, but it doesn't keep you going. I think within another hour, an hour and a half of you having that meal, you're going to be hungry again because it doesn't feel, it doesn't fill you up properly. It doesn't keep your energy levels up. So you're going to start feeling hungry again about an hour or so later. So, anyway, let's just continue watching this. Madeline Soto, age 13, trying to get the clothing description out. What was she last seen wearing? We have seen this already, but... White Crocs. White Crocs. Black shorts. Black shorts? Okay. Black shorts. All right. That gets me. She's adamant there. Black shorts. You short Black shorts. How would she know? Sorry. How would you know, sweetheart? Your daughter was unalived before she left that house. Sorry to tell you. So there's no way you saw her at 8 o'clock. He got her in that car before sunrise. sunrise. Right, and I'm going to try and find some out. Hold on. Just close some of this down. Or oh, what area is it in? Oh, God, I've got to go. I can't do it at the moment. I've got to go through my notes to find out the address and everything again. So I can punch in the time for the sun, sunrise and everything. But I can assure you it was before 8 a.m. Right? So he had to get her out of that house before sunrise. He had to get her in that car. Plus, sweetheart, he came back at 10 past 8, quarter past 8, something like that. And she was sitting in the car, slumped in the car. He parked it up outside. How no one saw that, I don't know. I really don't know how, if anyone walked past your house at that time. You knew. I'm sorry, you had to know. I, something was going on. For Christ's sake, look, you even told law enforcement that you all slept in the same bed because... Magdalene couldn't sleep on her own. Magdalene couldn't sleep on her own because she was scared of the monster living in her home. But oh no, you had that monster in the bed with you too. Okay? And if you want to get a good night's sleep because your anxiety was playing up, go and get another room. You send them off or you go into another room. Come on, love. Think about it. Did your daughter not say to you when lying by you in bed, Mum, tell him to stop. Mum, Mum, please tell him to stop. 
Did she say anything like that to you? And did you just blank it out? You didn't want to know. No, it can't be happening. He wouldn't do that. He's not a vile, sick human being. He doesn't deserve to be breathing the same air that we are. Oh no, is this loving stepfather? He wasn't her stepfather. He wasn't anything to her. She was your daughter. Yours and yours alone. And you couldn't even protect her. You let it go on. I'm sorry, I believe, in my opinion, she knew something was going on. Do you know she has a friend in the area? She does, but she doesn't know where they live. She doesn't know where they live, okay. I asked all of them. Um, okay. <laughs> Is this like, did she like... Black, black pants or shorts? Now between one of the two, you would think one of them would be a solid on that, right? One of them would be able to nail that down. Have any places that you guys know that she would usually be at? Any friends' house? Any places that I like, can hang out? Typically, no. Not typically. No. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Let me take a picture. Thank you. And what school did you go to? Hunter Creek Middle School. Hunter Creek Middle. All right. Cool. One, two, five. You guys have. You have a picture of her? Yeah, I know. Um, let me take a picture. I don't know what to do. Yeah, but I wasn't there, so I had to look at What's up? That's what I'm about to grab right now. Yeah. All right, we'll Is this a good picture, or do you want the body? Okay, where's the photo? Okay. I saved it to my photo, so you saved it to your photo. Yeah, we can I'm gonna send it out right now. Thank I'm out of guys. Thank you very much. So right now you just heard him say, you know, to the, his other guys, they don't even know what this child looks like yet. And it's we know it's sometime after 7:42 in the evening. And she had been reported three hours earlier. Now we know looking back in hindsight, it doesn't matter. But we've got to do better at getting kids reported missing. We've got to do better from the school systems, contacting parents, saying, hey, where's your kid? We got to do better. Yeah, it, it is, Marlena. It is the first thing you do, but it shouldn't be three hours later. It shouldn't be three hours later. But we know from the 911 calls they had something else going on, and this wasn't priority. This wasn't priority. The one 911 operator, in my opinion, frankly, was flat out rude. And basically said, listen, we'll get somebody there when we can. We've got other stuff going on right now. It's more important. I, think I that agree was with him grandma. totally. I agree with him totally. Yeah, she, she's a rocker. She is a rocker. For those just stopping in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, happened. Um, My internet is playing up. He dropped her off at the walkway and drove away. Did she have a motor No, we called school. She was walking in that direction. She was rifling through her backpack. So I thought maybe she was just looking for headphones before she started walking on. Yeah. Um, but she was just kind of, you know, shambling over in that direction. It looked the same as any other morning. Um, what was talking about? If she has a school, um, so, so I got confirmation from the school. She never made it to send me an email saying she's using it again. But I also looked at her, or email her, and she's directly. You know, look at all her 
No, she was she was she was supposed to have a book bag. She was supposed to go to school but didn't go to school today. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, secondary spots, but so far, negative on anything. Um, yeah, you can be doing me. Alright, cool. Yes, that negative one got hit. I thought Marvel. So. No, no. How wild is that? How wild is that, Michelle? Actually, hang on, that's the wrong Michelle. Or the other one got by me so quick. I, it was. I'm so sorry. Carolina. Yeah, Jennifer did not even make a 911 call. Yeah, she did. It, it was her grandma and her sister. There were there were two calls made, but. They have no record of Jennifer calling 911. Yep. That's in your other mother that doesn't phone 911. I think Black Sheets. Black Sheets. Black Sheets. Over there, information 1094, 1046. And what's the last time you seen her? Do you know the one? Yes, that's negative one that hit. I thought Martin. So. Yeah, that's negative one that hit. I thought Martin. So. I think Black Sheets. Over there, information, 1054. They're still not 100% sure on the pants or the shorts and the collar of the, of the shorts or the pants. And now he adds socks with the Crocs, white socks with the Crocs. And was the last time you seen her? Do you know the what, what time? When we dropped her off. Yeah. Which don't read too much into that because they don't see Jennifer in the vehicle. So don't read too much into that. Hundred. She says 110. He says 110, 112. <laughs> I mean, and her rocking is just off. The, it is off the chain. One, like that. Okay. Does she have any markings on her? Like any scars? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my shack job knows more about my daughter than I do. He knows where all of her markings are, sir. So don't don't mind. Don't worry about me. Let my shack job answer all of your questions about anything about my daughter's body. I know. He knows it better than I do. Yeah. He knows every it's inch of her body. Like right it's sick. Any other scars? Anything? Tattoos. They laughed. I put the top part on and get the rest of the They asked about a tattoo and they said, no, and they have to, you'd be surprised. Well, I'll be laughing. I'll be going, not my daughter. Not that dirty, anyway. It looks like the whole family's there. What they got to do now is get the barbie out and they can have a barbecue. So, it's, as I said, he paid a lot of, the jockey paid a lot of money for this, for these cameras, body cameras, a lot of money, and that is all we, that is all he got. I've seen more body camera on other cases than this. Um. Yes? Yes. I'm sorry, love. I'll be going. I'd look at my phone, and unless it was my mother or my daughter or my husband or someone like that, thump, go to voicemail. I haven't got the time for you. Right? And then I, if it was anyone in my family, I'd go, look, I'm moved to place right now. I'll have to phone you back later. Bye. You know what I mean? Cut it off. Cut it off. Hi, Mr. Cole. I'm here with you. Whoa. He's looking at her. That was... 
He's looking at her to see who is he. Who is it? Who you talking to? As soon as she says who it is, oh, that uh, look of relief on his face. Intense. That was intense. She says, "I'm getting a random 407 number, and I want you to watch Stern's reaction." Yeah, I know. Watch see. his reaction. That's the first time I've seen it as well. He hears her say, "Hello, Principal," whatever the principal's name is. Watch his reaction. Yeah. I'm getting a random four or seven number. Um, okay. Hello? Yes? Hi, principal. I'm okay. How are you? Hmm. Yeah. What would you call that? Yeah, I noticed that. Is that a reaction of... And as I said, this Ooh, is the first well, I just time I've watched bullet. that clip close up like that. Or is that a reaction of... <laughs> he, even, he even lets out a big exhale. Yeah. Dude holding his breath. Dude is yeah, holding yeah. his breath. I'm not going to do wow. something. To... Wow. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, thank God. It's just the principal. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. It's just the principal. It's not I someone telling me. The breath. Until oh, your partner is a sick pile. He's an S-H-I-T. Yes? His face, look at it. Hi, principal. I'm okay. How are you? See? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find the paperwork. Does she have any social media or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, my Lord. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, Hollis. Thank you, Hollis. So much. I'll tell you the reason as well why I didn't come on yesterday. It's because the night before I was saying, Oh, God, I've got to go and watch all those re replay of all those interviews that other person I don't like, CP, has been on. So I was watching them on the night time after my live, started watching it, and I come up with this, oh, novel idea, novel. It'll be good once it's finished. Is because I've tried to cut and paste the transcript. But for some reason, I couldn't get it done. So I thought, okay, I've got to sit and watch these videos because I want to make sure I haven't missed anything. I'll sit and type it out. By 10 a.m. yesterday morning, because I hadn't slept very much the night before, I was up early early, I'd had enough of hearing that, that man's voice. Really had enough. But I did manage to get the first transcript finished. And then sometime yesterday I thought, well, I'll try again. And I started his, the transcript from the first interview he done, they done. I managed something like 40 minutes into like a two hour visit live. <laughs> I think, oh God. So that's one reason as well, because I had to sit and listen to his voice constantly. Nothing to do with this case. Thank you so much for the memberships, Hollis. You're awesome. And let me say welcome to Mike Breeze, Seagate One, Warrior Princess, Uninvited Ghetto Superstar, like, Ray uh, Grinstead, Strawberry Wine, and Meep. Uh, and J.R. Workman, you was gifted a membership by Hollis. Thank you, Hollis, so much. You're awesome. That is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hotspot, for your $2 for the super sticker. I need to thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, but that's it, gang. That is it. Um, Plunder will dissect this. Gray Hughes will dissect this. Um, 
I'm trying to go safety. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed to Gray and Plunder, please go subscribe to them. I don't like Gray use. I'm not keying on him. It's good, but I'm just not keying on him. I actually, I actually had another live that set to go at one o'clock with the Ashley Benefield motions and lemony hearing. She is the Black Swan. Thank you so much, Guilty of Crime. You are very welcome. Right, well, if that's all, thank you so much for the super sticker. We have. Um, but that's just what happens with this. If that's all I gave him for what he probably paid for it, which wasn't cheap, I think that's robbing fecking toe rags. And I think the parents, the mother has probably said, look, I don't want that cam, uh, body cam inside our house being aired. Why? What you got to hide, love? You know what I mean? What you got to hide? It just makes me sick to think what this young girl went through and her mother done nothing. She had to know something. She was a mother. She had to know something. You know what I mean? And why would your anxiety be playing you up when you're in bed? Why would you be so anxious while in bed? I find if my anxiety is playing up, the best place for me to go is bed. Right? So why would your anxiety be playing you up? Because if I'm having a bad day and my anxiety and I'm here, there and everywhere, like, it's like a bit of ADHD with me when my anxiety plays up. And when it really plays up, it's like, I remember the first time it happened, it took me over an hour to sit there, sit at the house, at the house where I was living, for my sight, for my sight to come back fully. It was so blurred for about an hour because I was so anxious. My anxiety was ooh, going through the roof, right? And it took me an hour of sitting on a sofa and just calming down to get my vision back. And the more my anxiety, because I, was, I thought, I'm losing my vision here. I was getting more anxious. So I had to do some breathing exercises and try and calm down and think of something else. And eventually my, my sight come back perfect. But it was so blurred for about an hour. So now if I get any anxiety, if I can, I just go and lie down. So why would she get anxious? Or well, have anxiety attacks while in bed. You know what I mean? That to me doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know how anyone else reacts when they have anxiety attacks. Do they have an, do you have anxiety attacks while you when you go to bed? I don't know. Right? I know I had trouble sleeping like the other night. I just could not I was sleeping but I wasn't sleeping fully, fully. And I'd sleep for about ten minutes, then I'd move again, and then the cat to on the go again and I think that's probably one of the reasons as well the cat for some reason that night was not settling down was not settling down and I was doing speedy Gonzales around my flat across my bed on my windowsills onto my bed off my bed out the bedroom and even if I just shut my door they could just scratch at my door to get in so I leave my door open because it's pointless. They only scratch at my door to get in. So, so they wasn't settling down that night. So that was another reason I didn't sleep. But that wasn't my anxiety. It's just my brain was going over time. The cat wasn't settling. And I sometimes think the cat pick up on that, you know. They knew I wasn't settling. And I thought, oh, mummy's not going to settle tonight. We can play. You know what I mean? 
So I don't understand how anyone who would go to bed and have and suffer with anxiety while in bed because bed is the most relaxing place to go. You just lie there, shut your eyes, and eventually you might even doze off, or you might just lie there and just your body just relaxes. Right? So why was she getting so anxious while in bed? Did she know something was going on? Did Maddie, I'll say it again, did Maddie say, Mommy, please tell him to stop? Right? She must have known. I'm sorry. There might be people out there saying, No, 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 she couldn't have known. She wouldn't have known. She wouldn't have known. She did. She must have had some idea. This is a 13-year-old girl who from the age of, I think it goes back to the age of seven or eight, he was messing with her. So for six years, on and off, while he was there, on and off, he was, I bet she gave a relief of sigh when he left the house for how many months at a time. Because it meant she could, she wouldn't have him around her. You know what I mean? And it's like they said, she's been treated for um, or ADHD or something like that. I think the ADHD is more her anxiety because of him. It was because of him. I swear to God, if she could just got rid of him, all that anxiety in this young girl would have gone. We have gone. You've seen. You've just seen a lovely, thirteen-year-old girl blossom into a beautiful young lady. Because all that anxiety this young girl was holding in, knowing that he was there, and knowing that when she went to bed, he would come and join her. You know what I mean? No. You cannot tell me, as a mother, you did not know anything was going on. And I hope the charges are pressed towards the mother. I hope some charges are. But I've heard she's in some hospital and I've that's the truth. That's why police can't talk to her because she's in a some sort of hospital or whatever. Um but they might have her as a witness against him. And let her off with anything else. Let her off. That's what they've done all her, all her life. She's been let off with stuff. You know what I mean? And what I can understand is, again, people say, I say it and other people have said it. Why didn't she tell her dad? Why? Perhaps she loved her mum, which I believe she did. Why? Perhaps she didn't want her dad going round there and kicking crap out of this guy. You know what I mean? Because I could just imagine this mother saying to the father, no, it doesn't happen. You know, this is a young girl. She's making stories up. You know what I mean? That would be the sort of thing I could imagine the mother saying. I really could. But I did read somewhere there was head trauma on this young girl. Head trauma. And I also believe that if he hadn't got a puncture in his car wheel and he hadn't had to stop right where he dumped her body across the road. So I think what he's done is pulled into that field, dropped her body off, and as he's pulled out, he got that puncture, something in the field, punctured his tyre. So he's pulled out and across into that ever driveway bit across the road. And I think if he hadn't been seen changing his tyre there and someone hadn't reported it, yeah, I don't think her body would have been found, not straight away, not as, not as early as it was. So, thank God he got a puncture. Thank God for car punctures. 
if there's anything I can say, there's thank God he got a, a wheel puncture. And he had to change his wheel. Because I don't think we would have found her body that soon. So, anyway. Oh, and the person who owned that land, he said the gate to that land was open that morning. So he could have drove the, as I said, he's drove the car, there's no way he's going to pull up in his car, take Maggie out of the car, cross the road and walk up a field, into the field, to, to these trees, carrying her body. The chances of someone coming past and seeing him were very highly. So he probably pulled up in his car behind the trees, so the cars, no one could see him. He's got her out of the car and put her where he did. And then as he's put, got in the car and drove out, luckily there was no cars still. So he's come out, but then realised he'd got a puncture, so he's had to pull over, immediately pull over, onto the other side of the road to change his tyre. Because he couldn't be seen changing his tyre on the same side of the road where he had jumped her bug D. He probably thought, well, I'll pull over here because if anyone just see me, you know what I mean, see my car, they're not going to just click that this is where Maggie is. You know what I mean? So, well, I'm just glad you got that puncture. And for the mother, she knew. And I want to say a big thank you to the jockey for getting these videos I will go over it again because as I said I haven't properly looked at all them all that video I haven't I wasn't in the mood yesterday I wasn't feeling up to it and then today I've been doing a few things this morning when I got up so I hadn't really looked at it but we will go over this again on the night time now on the night time it won't be till Monday next week because I'll try and get online tomorrow, tomorrow night, but I am out, so I might not, I might not get on till very late, but my time I won't get on till very late, and then I'm out again on Friday because I've got my grandson, so I doubt if I'll be on Friday or Saturday, so it'll probably be Sunday, sorry Sunday, not Monday, Sunday, we can sit and talk this, so if you really want to joining and you're watching on replay if you're watching on uh twitter please come and join me on youtube joining on the discussions that we have leave us your views if you're watching on replay on twitter leave me a heart leave me a comment i do get back to them and if you're watching on replay on youtube please go and like this it does help with the analytics of YouTube and I've just found out notice today my second channel has been removed totally I can't find it anywhere can't find that channel anywhere because I wondered why like I've got it on my laptop like you know on your screen save you have all your private apps you go to so you can just click on it the other day, when I clicked on the YouTube one, it used to take me to my other channel first, my second channel, and it wasn't opening up. I thought, oh, don't tell me they've gone and done the dirty on me again. So I've logged into YouTube, and it took me straight to my to this channel. And um, I thought, oh, okay. And then today, I went to go into my second channel, to get the link and it isn't there it's not there so i'm going to have to see if i can open up another channel because that was for the missing children so now i'll just focus it on here as well the missing children cases and i'll do them on the it would normally be this afternoon but we're talking about soto at the moment magdalene 
and that viral piece of SHIT. But normally I do release a video on a Wednesday afternoon, so I'll be doing it on here. So I'm going to check my emails to see if I've had anything come up about that. Actually, I'll go and check it now. Now I'm thinking of it. Because I can't understand why that why that channel's been removed. Uh, um, no, there's nothing there. No, nothing. Nothing at all. So I don't know why my second channel is not showing. Has been removed. But I'll try and open up another channel. Because it's always handy to have a second channel in case they think, Oh, we're going to remove this channel. Right, so I'm going to open up another channel as a full back channel. But I'll concentrate on that one as for my diamond art. This one, that one won't do anything with crime. It'll just be for my diamond art that I do. And any crafts that I do. So, because that helps me relax. Anyway, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone for being here. If you're watching on replay, please go and give it a like. Hit that like button. Go and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe. And I'd love to hear all your opinions in chat. So please go and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all soon. Thank you.